today we're gonna do our first freelance office of the year family and it's gonna be the pace motion cuts. I am gonna show you how you can score consistently and play well without calling a single damn play which is going to throw through the freelance offense and get multiple looks of each set. I'm going to explain it to you in detail, so let's not waste any time. Let's go, family. All right. Hi. So today, this is going to be advanced, very, very advanced. So if you get lost, don't worry. Retrace your step, rewatch the part. Do not overwhelm yourself. This is going to be a very advanced level tutorial. I'm very excited. So if you need to, I think maybe pen and paper and just write down the basic sets and stuff like that. If you don't, you can always refer back to the video. I'm really glad I got to do this and hopefully you guys like this format and let me know if I explained it okay because this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. So let's get to it. So let's begin by figuring out how we set up the pace motion offense. So first you wanna go to options and go to coach settings and you wanna make sure it looks like this. So manual everything, all plays for the play vision, full on play vision display, and show all on play call messages. You need to do this because otherwise if you don't do this, you won't see the branches of the freelance offense while you're playing. So make sure you set it up like this. And yes, for those of you who don't know how to set up the freelance, what you want to do is you want to click left on D-pad, you will see the quick play, and then click R1, you will get to offensive strategy. And then you're going to push up on the right stick and you get to access your half court set and then you want to scroll through the pages of R1 until you see pace, there it is. Click down on the right stick, select pace and there you go. Motion cuts is the action, you don't want to make any changes to it because we're going to keep it as that. So once you get better with this over time, you want to be able to do it in 5 seconds during game while bringing the ball. So this just takes practice, don't worry too much about it but yeah, that would be the speed you need. And alright, so let's begin in earnest. So pace, the offensive self has two sets and it depends where you bring the ball to, it will activate the spacing and action of each set. So we're gonna look at set number one where we're gonna bring the ball up top, right in the middle of the court, all right? So you see, this is the spacing you're gonna get 24 seven. This is the beauty of the freelance offense. Depending on where the ball is, you'll get consistent spacing. So you'll get Two players on one side, we're gonna call that the stack side. So that's the left side. You're gonna get one wing player on the corner by himself on the right side here. We're gonna call that the corner side. And the center is gonna roam around the paint around the low post area. So that is the set if you bring the ball right up to the middle. So you can see we're getting into the set here and there it is. And we're gonna run a high pick and roll. We're gonna manually call this pick and roll. This is the best action attacking under the set to begin. So you see on the right side, we get the stack side and on the left side with the corner side. And if you call for a pick while holding down L1, the center is always going to set the pick, sending you to the corner side. So this is the con consistent action out of the high pick and roll in this set. The center will always send you to the corner side out of a pick. So we're just going to run this and read and react. The center is open. We're going to dump it in. Easy basket. Now, not going to happen like this all the time. And another consistent action I want you to pay attention to in this set number one is that once you run this pick and roll, you can see from the stack side, so the right side, Goran Dragic is going to step up. You see it there, as the roll happens, Goran will always come up around like this onto the top. So if the roll pass is not there, you can always hit Goran and, you know, go through the offense again. So just from that basic, you guys understand. So in set number one, where the ball is in the middle and we call for that high pick and roll manually, you will always get consistent action and spacing. There's always gonna be a corner side and a stack side and the pick will always come from the corner side. So this is what you wanna do with a freelance offense. You need to understand this consistent action and spacing and take advantage of it because it's gonna be like this 24 seven. So if you make the right reads, you can take advantage. So here I'm calling for the pick out of the set number one. Anthony Davis sets the pick on this side, on the corner side. The wing is going to come up, as you can see there. He's going to fill the top. Anthony Davis is going to roll. We're actually going to hit the corner man because we know the spacing is consistent. We're going to give it back to AD and we're going to finish it strong. So that's one way of finishing with the freelance offense in pace. So we're going to look at this one time in real time. Look at the spacing. It's always consistent. You're going to expect the action. So make sure you understand what's coming and who is going to be where. It's going to be like this all the time. So watch me flow into it this time. 
Same thing, we're gonna go to the ball up top, set number one. AD is gonna start from this side. We're gonna go to the corner, dump it back to the corner. Man. We know that corner is gonna be there. We know the wing is gonna fill it up top. This is how you attack, knowing the consistent action and the spacing within the offense. Here it is one more time, but this time, watch this. We're gonna actually tell Anthony Davis to switch the side. When we cover, if you call him to switch the side, watch Ryan Anderson go to the other side. So if you tell the screener to switch sides, you will, he will still send you to the corner side. So the stack side, the other man is going to fill up the other corner and that's going to become the stack side on the right now. So we just switch the stack side and the corner side. Anthony Davis is still going to roll. We get the consistent action again, the consistent spacing. There it is again, family. All right, one more time. By now, you know exactly what's going on. Consistent spacing. We see the corner. We're going to oop it up to AD. Now, obviously, that corner action is not going to work all the time. You can see here. So we're going to feed the corner man nothing. But we know Goran's going to come up. We're going to hit him up top. And then we're going to do it again. But if you hit Goran up top, computer is actually going to cause some automatic plays for you, depending on where you are. So you can take advantage of that too. Here it is again. We run that. Corner action nothing. We swing it back to the other side. Consistent spacing 24-7. We go back up top and we run set number one over again. We're going to flow through it. Look at this. Now we get the look we want. Bang! That was complicated, I know. So if you haven't gotten that down yet, go back. Rewatch it now before we move on to set number two. It's okay. Freelance action offense is really hard because you're trying to score and flow without calling any plays. There's a lot of re and react. So if you haven't got it, go back, watch it again before you move on to set number two. Now, for more of the veterans of the family, if you got all that, let's move on to set number two. The principles hold the same. We're going to understand the consistent action and the consistent spacing out of pace motion cuts. And we're going to run set number two where the ball is on the wing. Okay? So let's take a look at the spacing. Here, Dwayne Wade's got the ball on the wing, and this is the spacing you're always going to get. The stack side is going to be on the left. The corner man is going to stay there. And if you call for a manual pick and roll from the center, who is usually in the low block, this time he's actually going to send you to the stack side. So watch. Hassan Weiss is going to step up with the pick and roll with Dwayne. The stack side has formed on the left. We're just going to attack with this pick and roll. We're going to use the spacing again, read and react. The corner man's open. We're going to shoot the jumper. Bang, 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 bang. Here is again, we're going to go to the wing again. We're going to swing it around. Pondexter is going to call that menu pick and roll. Once again, you can see the consistent action and the spacing. The roll is there. Let's not complicate things. we we'll take it. Now, the beauty of the pace motion cut offense is that if you're swinging the ball around the top of the key side to side, if you actually don't call for that menu pick and roll, if you just hold onto the ball, you will actually get auto plays from the wings. So let's take a look at that one time. Here it is, we're gonna swing the ball on the D-Way, we're just gonna hold it, hold it, and now automatic plays. Now, these are random depending on the situation that the AI feels like, so you're gonna read and react and play that smart basketball, but you just need to understand if you swing the ball from side to side on the wing and hold on to it, see, you get automatic plays. So, just attack them as you see fit, stay consistent from the wings and you'll be all right. So we're gonna swing it to the wing again, we're gonna hold the damn ball, here it is again, another play. Some of them will repeat, some of them will not. But if it doesn't work, we're going to swing it again from the wing. Look, another new action. So wing to wing, if you hold it in pace motion, you will get automatic plays. I missed a shot there, but it's still beautiful. So that's set number two from the wing. So you can either hold a man, call a manual pick and roll, and you'll get that pick and roll going to the stack side, consistent spacing. If you don't call the manual pick and roll and you hold the ball on the wings, you'll get those plays you see there, the auto plays. So with this said, there's set number one, there's set number two. If you don't get it, rewatch it. But if you do, then we can move on to the final step of today's tutorial. And that is you're going to flow through both sets as you attack in the pace motion. So we're going to get points, we're going to get assists, we're going to get shots without calling a single play. Because we understand in the pace motion, there's two ways to trigger it. We can bring the ball up top, right in the middle, call for a pick and roll, or we can bring it to the side, call for a pick and roll, or just swing it around for the automatic plays. So let's take a look at how I flow through it with both the Pelicans and the Heat. This time I start off in the middle, we're gonna use that pick and roll. The wingman comes through the top, but we don't need it, we got the roll, so don't complicate things as I always say. Here it is again, we're gonna attack from the middle. We're gonna switch the pick side, watch the stack side reform on the other side. The extra motion got AD open in the middle again. Once again, we're gonna attack in flow. We're going to start off in the middle, so set number one. We're going to use the pick and roll, go to the corner man, nothing inside. We're going to swing it back around. We're going to hold the damn ball. 
Now we're going to call for a manual pick and roll. Now we're in set number two. We're going to swing the ball around. That's beautiful basketball. I was a little bit turned on by that, but that's okay. That's normal. That's normal, family. If you are, just admit it. It's normal. So this time we're going to go to the side. We're going to swing it back around. This time we trigger the autoplay from the side to side action from the wings. We use it and we finish. Here it is again. We start from the middle. We're going to go to the corner man. We're going to hit the postman. Swing it back to the guy up top. Swing it back to the wing. Trigger an autoplay. Nothing here. We swing it back. This is beautiful basketball. And here is the final play of the day. My absolute favorite. Count the passes, family. We stop in the middle. One pass. Corner man to post. Two pass. Post to corner. Second pass. Third pass. Back to the middle. Hold the ball. Manual pick and roll. We're going to hit the postman on the dive. Go back to the corner. That's seven passes. All right? And yeah. Bang. All right. That brings us to the end of the tutorial. This one. It's complicated, I understand, but this is the highest level of offense you can run in 2K16. There are no plays, just sets, actions, and consistent spacing. Make your reads, understand what's going to happen. You know the basic now, right? Because now you know how the team is going to behave out of the middle set in pace motion and the, and the wing side set. So practice, familiarize yourself with it. This is absolutely deadly everywhere, but more so in my career because you can actually make your whole team play the way you want so maybe sometime next week i'll offer you guys my first my career tutorial i'll show you how to run this pace motion as a point guard on your team in my career so that's going to be pretty good so keep an eye out for that next week and if you got any questions please feel free to ask now i can't answer them all but you guys know i always try just let me know how you feel i suggest rewatch this often so you get the flow and you understand the basic action that will come up consistently. So that's the end for me today. I'm actually glad I got to do this. And I can actually do this for every single freelance offense. So if you guys like this, I can maybe do this every Saturday. And tomorrow, I will show you how you can use this uh, online. I have adopted this a little bit, not fully, but a little bit of it to my RTTP team. And I've been doing pretty good with it. So I'll show you footage of that. And also footage of the Protect Burst crossover. So that's it for me. Have a great weekend. And I will see all of you next time. And yeah, add me a like if you would want to see more freelance offense. See ya.